Okay, then uh, we appreciate your time. Mr. Coleman. Uh, thank you. Uh, Henry Coleman, Bowling Green. Uh, thanks for taking all this time on with the, this project. Uh, I think we all agree it needs to be reconciled. It needs to be looked at in totality. I do believe and I do know for a fact that the examination procedure that was done uh, did not look at uh, most of this project. It only looked, uh, Mr. Carter is only looking to see if he can find money that says was spent, was spent. <coughs> what it's not looking at, and this is what uh, Mr. Samuels was trying to say, if you uh, submit draw requests or invoices, a detailed, detailed list, one level deep from one company to another, uh, hours of uh, work by coders, etc., mentors, down to the nearest tenth of an hour. Uh, <coughs> all of the numbers are down to the nearest penny. The, and now we're going back and calling these estimates. They were estimates that we didn't know at the time. It was not discovered they were estimates until November 5th of 2014 at a meeting, all of this stuff that happened. It's very clear to me that the, the approach that should be taken, that ha had there been somebody, uh, Casey Dixon or somebody that was actually verifying, and this is the point of my three minutes right here. You have to verify that every penny was spent <coughs> for the best purposes under the project and it actually went toward furthering the project and it was the best way that that money could have been spent. That's the, that's the burden of proof. So when uh, Mr. Uh, Carter puts together the examination, he did not look to see if there were actually, those hours actually happened. There were, there were no, there were no logs. There were no way mentors, there were no records or personnel files, training records, or any of this stuff. None of the stuff lower than that one level invoice that was detailed to the nearest tenth of an hour, let's say, the nearest penny that was presented as factual invoices. They were receipts, they were invoices. I want you to pay me this amount of money to this penny for the last month. Now, even if he put that together in January for the first three months of the continuum lapse, why would those be estimates? He's already booked those expenses. Those expenses shouldn't be estimates. They were, they were put together after the fact. You can't say they were estimates at this point. You certainly can't say at a certain point down the road there was in-kind contributions, and let's just say that a lot of that money uh, put somebody to, in Bermuda or bought somebody a new car or something, something, whatever. You made an estimate on a licensing thing or some other investor. All of you can't do that. Final comment, Mr. Chairman. You have to look at the record. And Mr. Carter, what he did was only the first part. Now if somebody has to verify, once you, re once you say, yes, this amount was spent, then you have to determine was it spent for the best purposes of the project? That's the burden. That's what you have to do. Thank you for your comments, Mr. Coleman. Do you have any other public comments? Yes, Mrs. Cole. 